this video we're going to be doing a little bit of work on the Mark II Escort. So I've just picked up um, a pair of front hubs for it because I had the wrong hubs and they wouldn't fit on the struts that I've got in there. So I've got the right hubs now so I can uh, clean them up, put them all back together, put some new studs in them, put the brake discs on, bolt the hubs on and I can actually put all four wheels on it. eBay oil filter kits. I think it's about 70 quid. It comes with uh, a load of uh, pre made hoses with all your fittings on, an oil cooler, and um, your relocation thingy for your oil filter and then this is what would go on your normal oil filter um, housing but I've got this which has um, been made for this engine to do what I need to do which is get completely get rid of the actual oil filter housing itself I, I want to get the oil cooler sort of sat behind this slot here there's just enough room for that and then the oil filter, uh, I'm thinking of just mounting the oil filter under here, so in the, in the actual uh, wheel well, this side's going to have all the um, hoses and everything in the way, so I can't, I can't have it here, and uh, it would be nice to, to not have all the hoses sort of all over the place in the engine bay, so if I have it behind here, I can just route the hoses straight underneath the chassis leg here. All right, um, I've just got to mount this. Gonna do it the simplest way I can see possible. Doesn't need to be anything fancy, just needs to be uh, sturdy. So I'm just gonna cut a little piece of angle, drill some holes in it and I can bolt that straight onto here and then just weld them to the cross member bit on the front and that's all it needs, it doesn't need to be uh, complicated
I'm just going to remake this bracket. Uh, I want this to sit closer to the uh, edge and then I want to make this like a four bolt thing to spread the load and just hold it a bit more solid. So I'll make out some three mil. Alright, so um, this one here is going to the centre. Oil flows through the outside and then clean oil flows back up out of the centre, I think. I have to double check that. But I can pipe it all up anyway and if, that, if I've got that the wrong way around I can just twist this this mounts either side so if it's the other way I'm pretty sure it goes that way but if it is the other way all I've got to do is twist that round so I can uh, mount this up now and get all the hoses cut to length. So that's how we're looking in there. Now we've just got to run the hoses. So I'll come out of the filter housing, outlet of that will go to the outside one of this. Probably better to have the hot oil going into the filter because it's going to flow easier through the filter. That's my way of thinking anyway. Um, so out the housing, into this one, out of that one, into the cooler, back out the cooler, back into the housing. First hose is going to tuck in behind there. And it's going to come underneath here. This will obviously all be covered by the front panel. Up under there. And then it needs to curve around with enough hose fit in there. Sink up there. I'm just going to tape off, tape them off at the marks. I've taped just a fraction over the mark and then I'll just cut the end of the tape off. It'll stop that end fraying. And then I'll just mark with an arrow. So I don't cut the wrong line. I've stripped this off one of them already. So it's pretty simple, you just stuff that end on first and then compress that into the uh, thing, do it up, job done. So you just make sure that the uh, end of the hose is right up to the base of that.
We'll leave it up a bit. And then all you need to do is make sure when you're tightening that, it's not pushing the hose back out. So you just mark a little line on it. As long as that line doesn't move down, when you, once you've tightened it up, then it'll be sweet. You just do it up till it seats. Doesn't need to be uh, cranked on. So now I'll just do the same with the others. Yeah, I wasn't I wasn't sure that these fittings would be like reusable fittings because it was all a cheap, very cheap kit. But if you were to just buy all these fittings on their own, you'd probably spend what I paid for the whole kit just getting the fittings and some hose. So it's definitely a cheap way of doing it. You get one of these little uh, clips to hold the hoses. It's a shame you don't get a few. So, got an oil cooler sorted. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to get more 90 degree fittings for the bottom of the uh, cooler because that is touching the panel here, just where the hoses bend round. Whereas if I put a 90 in there, if I put a 90 in there, we'll have pretty good clearance. I don't really want the hoses actually rubbing against that. But other than that, it seems to work well. Alright, that is all I got for this one. Nice to get a bit of work done on the old Escort. That's the first First time that thing's been worked on in a long time. So if I can tick something off the list, you know, every time I'm uh, waiting for some parts or something, you know, it should come together at some point. But um, yeah, that's gonna be it for this one. Cheers for watching, see you on the next one.